Hi and welcome, it's Amanda here, Creative Gardener. So in today's video, I was going to say in today's show, um, in today's video I'm going to show you how you can use Breeze Blocks as uh, mini planters and um, again it's looking at how we can uh, use creatively things in the garden and save money basically. So this is a quick and easy way to um, do that and it depends on what, where you want to use them. So I'll show you specifically for myself obviously um, and I'll show you why I've put them in the places that I've put them and how they're going to look. Yeah, okay. Anyway, come on then, let's have a look. Okay, hello Cole. Cole. Yes, it's going to be you're the focus today. Anyway, so at the front of the house, I've still got to, um, this is my makeshift gate. Um, I've got to look at, I want to design something out of the wood that I harvest in the garden. And um, so I've got some different types of wood growing and I'm going to be using that anyway but we're not talking about that we're talking about the breeze blocks so here's one I've already kind of started it's part way through and um, what I'm finding is that Cole can actually leap over these walls he never used to be able to but as he gets bigger he's casing it like this right now what he's doing now <laughs> is what he normally does he kind of looks He's judging the height. Mm hmm Yeah, you see, you caught we caught you in action. Anyway, so um, and I found out that he could leap over here when I went out the front to do some work right at the front of the house down there. And he just suddenly leaped and he leaped over this bit. So the chair was just where it is, but facing the other way and he just leapt over it and it was just like okay so I need to do something so what I thought is you know well this wall we can't really build up on it um, I don't really want the lattice but I want to create something with some plants where I can have some plants that cascade over the side so you know it could be um, like this one maybe this one cascades um, I'm not sure whether it produces fruit but it just appeared and has been growing so or I might just leave that there I mean you can't get through there but um I thought oh these breeze blocks and they're heavy he can't he can't move them and you can paint them um different colors and um yeah they'll serve the purpose you put a plant in here so I've done one I've I had some uh paint and um, I've got enough to paint uh four of these and I happen to have four breeze blocks so this one that, that's already been painted that one there that again I was going to use it there and that one with a plant in it and that's the kind of idea so that plant is actually sitting loose but what I'm going to do is put it in a container so the containers that you can use um, again recycling I've got um, well we're looking at it now and I'll zoom in for you. So when I buy the bags of dog food, um, that's just part of his um, part of his meal. Um, you've got all these bags, and so over time, you know, the bags have kind of increased. So I was thinking of using those. What I had started using, I'll show you just down here, are these. So basically it's just a container and I've cut, cut it off, cut off the top, turned it inside out and put it down the bottom so that when I water it, it doesn't um, fill up with water basically. And then it can fit in here like this. As the plant grows, you're not necessarily going to see all of this. You know, you're not going to see it. You're going to see the plant coming over, and that's really what you want. And then the other one, what I'm going to try and do is get... 
containers that are the same but again I'm recycling these containers and they fit because I've just cut them just below the rim and they're just going to grow these plants have uh, purple flowers and literally it's a trailing plant so they will be confined by this um, which is fine I don't need them to grow like my neighbor's got them really really like a massive bush if you can imagine this the fountain grass there it's double the size that he's got and it attaches itself to everything anything um, and so yeah these kind of small plants um, I'm not sure of the name I've still got a find out the name and then something else is growing in here I'm not sure what that is but I've got a lot of uh, trailing plants that will serve the purpose and you know it's it's a weed like weed like because um, they grow anywhere so I've got some other plants that they just come up and um, again they're trailing but I like these ones because they've got purple flowers. And I was thinking, you know, like when you think of the colour. Now I like the contrast in colours between the pale cream and the dark brown. So just for this section, I can fit two of them in. So he won't be able to get over there. And then for this section here, again it's herbs. So one here and one there. And then, you know, that not only provides you with um, shading from the road, that's the road down there, small road, I mean, it's not, well, far affair, um, but it stops him from being able to jump over. He can still, um, what he does is he leaps up and he puts his paws on here, so he can still in the gaps look through but he won't be able to leap over unless he's going to get a lot bigger <laughs> then uh, I might have to come up with another thing but this is a temporary measure that enables you to deal with particular situations or enables me to deal with this situation of I don't want him jumping over the front especially when I've gone to do some work at the front because what I'm having to do now is put him inside um, and then spend like an hour or so out there so in this way this has helped me you know beautify so again using the plants to do a particular job and I'm using the breeze blocks that otherwise would you know this is what they're normally like concrete and um, again they don't have you know it's used for building but once they're painted and you can put a particular design on them it would actually look quite nice so I'm trying to come up with a design I don't want to rush and put something on and find that I don't like it but I've got some stencils that I'm going to use and um, and then you know kind of make it uniform so have the four with the particular design maybe like a trailing kind of again a trailing plant kind of going down it can be picked up I guess I could pick it up and put the trailing um, stencil along here if I want to I'm not too sure um, and then I've also painted see the tires so I've uh, done a video where I've showed you the tires so the tires have been inverted and I've painted them and they're the same color so the color kind of like you know runs through it's continuous um, and uh, I'd like to put some more of the tires like that turn them inside out and put them on the other side but that is the breeze block so when you look at it like this once it's filled with um, once they start to grow and hang over they're going to grow a lot wider or what I can do is find a container what I can what I okay so what we've got here is you know the plants are growing nicely 
and as as they get bigger it will fill this out and so just like that one there it's it looks quite pretty and I've only filled one side so it gets quite bushy and you can cut it and this that kind of plant it kind of just grows you cut it it grows you cut it it grows and um, we've got got it in other places where it's just tree it's a, a kind of grass I've never seen it flower um, but it would be nice to have some flowers grow here but yeah as you can see as they start growing this is going to look really nice and you can stick things in there in the meantime like I've got some Mexican sunflower I can put in there they're just the yellow sunflowers and uh, yeah it's lovely okay so I hope that's been useful it's given you some ideas as to sorry Cole I'm sorry that's given you some ideas I've got to get on with painting this one and, um, and then getting the other two ready to paint but um, I'm taking my time as it goes and if we look up there you can see a big rain cloud heading towards us so I think my outside activities going to be well, short-lived for the moment. I might have to go back into the studio and do some other things. But, um, yeah, I hope you get yourself, if you've got yourself some breeze blocks, or think about some projects you can do with concrete. Um, I've got a lot of ideas on my Pinterest, so you can go there and see some of the ideas of the things that you can do, especially in the garden. There's so many ways in which the... Um, these kind of things can be used and if you've got some sitting around like my neighbour had um, loads sitting around like for nearly a year um, and some are just used to prop things up but um, they're not that expensive these particular things are not that expensive and uh, as I say you can the good thing about this in in terms of putting a container in there that doesn't that is sealed at the bottom so remember you can put stones into the container and so your plants got drainage but the good thing about that is that you can interchange the plants so if you're feeling like you know a particular you know color scheme or you know depending on the type of plant you can, you can put that in there and change the look all right so i'm going to leave it there if you are new to the channel please do like and subscribe and call Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Yeah. Yeah. And it's bye from me and bye from Cole.